All right, now I'm showing our music basket. We have lots of music stuff, but this is our easy music basket for beginners. <laughs> for the three to five, six range. So we have maracas, um, anything to shake. Um, wood sticks are helpful. We've got wood sticks from our garage. We've got these wood sticks that you can also rub. Um, and this little frog that we bought in Hawaii as a souvenir that you can rub. Uh, it's hard to do it with one hand. Um, we got pan pipes. <laughs> These are Native American. They aren't tunal, t tonal. Uh, they aren't in tune. But you can make make a set of them. I plan to do that sometime. When I'm not busy, which is never. Um, coconut shells, something you can bang together. Um, so here's the other shaker. Um, or you can shake tambourines. These were dollar store. Uh, actually, I keep not I keep Target dollar bins. Awesome. Got two of them. I should have gotten more because they are a hit. Um, we also have mason jar things that we cling together. <laughs> that's kind of um, kind of redneck, but that's okay. These pipes I hang on this string. They were from a broken dollar store wind chime that my mom bought me. <laughs> anyway, so we normally have those on a string. These were awesome. I met this guy who made Native American flutes at the farmer's market, and I asked him if he could make a little one, like a one or two hole one for my kids. So now he's selling them for like a buck fifty or two bucks or something, and they're great for my three-year-old. She can just practice putting one finger over the hole um, on those two, and then this one he made has two holes. So that's more for like my four-year-old. My two-year-old, my four-year-old, and then my five-year-old can, uh, or six-year-old can attempt playing this. Hopefully we'll learn. We wanted to learn this year. But. Um, good things to blow in. So they need things to blow in, things to hit, um, things to shake, more to blow in, and then um, more things to hit. So they, where's the little thing? We have a triangle. And we have these. So I ha we have a set of the full do re mi fa so la ti do um, set of xylophone. But I actually pulled out the do's and the fa so that we have pentatonic. And pentatonic is kind of, it's like Asian or Celtic and sounding um, because they use that scale. And basically, no matter how you play it, it sounds pleasant. And if you're building the kids, your kids' ears for good music, you want to surround them with good quality things and um, things that they can hit and play with and it won't sound jarring or feel like they're playing the wrong note. So this is a good thing for start. And we actually play Simon sometimes, which is really fun. We'll pull like three out. I'll say, okay, do five notes. So they'll go like... And so then they have to mimic it. We normally start with three with the little ones, so they'll just be like, and then we have to echo. And it's good for recall skills and also for listening skills. Because if they don't look and see how to do it, they can remember how it sounded if we put it in the order of, of playing them, so small to large. All right, kind of fun, so we play around with that. Um, another, just a tip, these are rubber mallets. The other ones that it came with were plastic, and when you hit it, it goes, nah, and it sounds yucky. But the rubber has a better resonance, carrying. So anyway, little side thing. So again, things you hit, things you shake, things you, I'm not organizing it, things you blow, and things you tap. Um, another thing you can do is things you um, wave. That's more dancing. We have the dance scarves. And we bought the belly dance scarves, which you wear with jingles and that you can shake too. Those are fun. Or the anklets from India that you can stomp and they jingle. Those are all other fun things to do, but that's in my movement basket instead of my music basket. So this is fun. I always keep it in this room so my kids know when it's music time, they gravitate here to this room and we grab this basket and we use the piano over there. Um, so this basket goes right here. And I keep it low so that they can play with it all the time because I want them to explore music. Um, and I will show on another video that 
the other stuff I do for music that I only bring out when I'm with them for music time. But this is just kind of the grab bag manipulatives of music for them. <laughs> 